Hey sweetheart, it's Rowan, and here's a quick one for you all. It's, um, things about YouTube that I will probably never get. I will probably never understand these things about, um, at least the more social YouTube videos. Um, and at some point I'm going to, you know, stress that Social is being used rather loosely, so this is like, you know, less with the, you know, YouTube videos that are, you know, YouTubers that are very obviously, you know, just a business. And don't wipe your glasses with paper tissues, but I've, you know, I, I had to, I had to, it's what was there in front of me. So, first is, I don't understand gaming videos. What is the appeal of this? Um, to a certain extent, I can understand the social appeal, like, you know, you've got a console game, you know, there's a telly, everybody, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a party, everybody is there, and watching everybody else play, you know, like the two-person fighters, and I guess I'm getting a thumb war going on here. I, I can understand there's a bit of a social appeal aspect there. Um, you know, you're sitting around with, you know, your friends. I mean, I guess that's why there are some people who live stream their video games, but it's not like, you know, the more social games that people will play out at parties, you know, the video games, you know, where you know, theoretically, somebody's gonna get, you know, knocked out, and then, you know, player C can come in and take their place, and blah, 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 and it's a big social party thing. Uh, maybe that's just, maybe this is just where I'm too old to understand. Uh, but, I don't know, what, what's, what's the appeal of watching other people play video games, and you're not playing the game with them, it's not like, um, like, like an MMO sort of thing, where you're playing the game with them and you I don't I don't I don't understand that I really don't understand that uh, I have zero interest in watching it and um, I uh, um, I have zero interest in watching it um, there's there's a couple people I do subscribe to and when they put out those videos, I just, I, I hide it in my subscription queue because, um, you know, I basically put my subscription queue onto, you know, my watch queue on my Roku, on my television, and, and then what happens is, you know, I don't know, I, I do this weird sort of thing, it keeps it ordered in my head, uh, but I have to hide those from my queue just in case I accidentally put them on, you know, would accidentally put them on the television. So, I don't, I don't understand gaming videos. I really don't. Uh, the other thing I don't understand is subscription box unboxings. Uh, because it's usually the same, you know, dozen or so people, and we're all watching each other, we're all watching these same people, and th they're, they're all unboxing basically the same thing. Like... I understand unbox, you know, like when Jacqueline Glenn, you know, or simil similar people who will get, <coughs> you know, these big fan mail hauls from the P.O. box, and, you know, they'll just, like, you know, un you know, um, open up the, um, the mail from people who send them, you know, unique things, but, you know, like, I've, I've gotten my queue, and I'm not even going to watch them. I've, like, probably hidden most of them. Like, five different people, you know, unboxing the, 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 wit, the spooky witch subscription box. It's all going to be the same things. It's all going to be the same things. You can only show off and explain, especially, like I said, it's all the same people. You know, they all watch each other. A lot of people watch these same, like, five people... And there are only so many ways you can describe um, hand-rolled incense or, you know, these, these this, like, maybe a little bag of, bag of badges from, you know, this one person. And, 
it's going to be mostly the same things. It's going to be mostly the same things. Uh, if if you watch these same five people opening up the same box from the same subscription service, what is the appeal? Please tell me what the appeal is, because I don't understand it. Uh, the third thing I don't understand is, and this is... Um, you know, the haul video, I have seen this evolve from, you know, people will go out to a thrift store or Target or, you know, Barnes & Noble or even, like, you know, the secondhand bookshop or the record shop, and this is how the haul video started, you know, I'm getting, like, say, you know, five records at the shop. Or, you know, this is like a big load of things I got from the thrift shop and the whole total was $25. In fact, I've done a couple of those. I haven't really kept up with those because I haven't been going to the thrift shop for a couple months. And, you know, th this is interesting. It's all very different things. Uh, Goth Moth... She still does videos of this nature, you know, like she'll get a bunch of books from somewhere, either, you know, some combination of stores or, you know, free library kind kind of shelf things, you know, or then, like, you know, she'll go to, like, you know, um, secondhand shops and, you know, just have, like, this big assortment of things. Um, granted, she doesn't say all that much about these things, but, you, you know, but... It's it's interesting. It's interesting because it's like, oh my gosh, look at what she got from the thrift shop. You know, let me see if I can go see something like that at my own or, you know, or this, that, and the other thing. And then, you know, uh, obviously companies have noticed that, hey, this is great advertisement. Let's send these bigger, you know, named social YouTubers, you know, these, you know, these, these free you know, boxes of clothes, or, you know, sometimes, you know, people will stress, oh, you know, I bought this with my own money, I'm like, yeah, but you bought it from all the same company, so, you know, you know, assuming you did actually buy this, and this wasn't, you know, a promotional thing, you are basically paying to make an ad, you're making an ad at that point, and, um, I, I, I don't buy YouTube Red. I've gotten free promotional YouTube Red subscriptions like a couple times a year, and then I'll cancel it like, you know, the day before it's supposed to end. <laughs> um, or, uh, you know, or I'll skip ahead on the ad because I don't go to YouTube for ads. I don't go to, um, when I, I will skip over sponsored videos or, um, I'll skip over the, you know, sponsored portion of various, you know, um, um, vid video channels that I like, like, uh, like today I found out, I, I will, I will go up into my, you know, with the Roku remote and like, boom, 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 you know, then like a few panels to, you know, in the little thing when you're trying to jump ahead. If you use Roku, you know what I'm talking about. It's the little, that's the little thumbnail panels. That that's like you know five ten seconds each. I will I will skip ahead on those because I don't subscribe to these channels to watch ads, and I understand that you know there are ads um, that a lot of pe that these channels benefit from this sponsored content. But again, I don't come here to watch ads. And if you're making yes, closed Tumblr, I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> and. You know, so, so when I'm watching, you know, your, you know, personal, you know, ostensibly social-oriented YouTube channel, I'm not going there to watch you advertise. Uh, and that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing when you do, like, these little brand hauls. I'm like, no, that's not, that's, that's not a haul in the video in the way that, you know, it, it first came about. <laughs> This this is an advertisement. You are ad even if you paid for this out of your own pocket, you know, for you know, like Killstar or what whatever, you are paying to advertise. You know, you are, you have paid this company to basically make an advertisement. And don't lie to us. It's more often than not in hopes 
of getting, you know, free stuff so that you can advertise it in another video that, you know, they're basically paying you to do, even if they're only paying you in free stuff. I'm like, I'm not, I don't come here for ads. I don't come here for ads. When I'm watching on my computer, I've got ad block, you know, stuff. I very seldom see ads from my desktop computer. Um... I don't have as great ad block stuff on my laptop, but, you know, I skip ahead when I'm watching on my phone or on Roku. You know, if you enjoy watching, you know, people, ostensible individuals who, you know, are barely making money off of, off of this, if at all, you know, if you enjoy watching people make an advertisement, and they're basically making an advertisement when they're doing these brand hauls. I'm like, no, no, I don't care about, you know, these same five Killstar outfits that three other people are making a brand haul video about. I'm like, no, that's not a haul, that's an advertisement. You're advertising to me, stop it. I'm not so stupid that I don't realize what you're doing. So, if you get a kick out of these, please explain to me what the appeal might be. Because I don't get it. I don't get it. It's an advertisement. It's an advertisement. I don't want to watch it. You know, yes, this company exists. At this point, most of us, especially, you know, net goths, we know what these brands are. Um, if we want to know what, if we want to find out about brands, you know, we'll see, you know, maybe a couple of videos of this caliber and then go explore on our own when... You know, if we actually are interested, you know, we'll sign up for the newsletters. You don't need to advertise to us. <laughs> um, at least old people like me are like that. Um, but yeah, most of my clothing comes from thrift shops. Uh, in large part because um, a lot of these, you know, like big brands, like, I, I don't like Killstar stuff, I really, like, there's a couple things I've seen from Killstar that I might wear if I can find it on sale. Like, if it's on, if it ends up on sale, and it is also within my budget when it ends up on sale, because I can't afford your shit on sale either, um, you know, I might, I might wear this, or I might prefer to go to the thrift shop or the vintage shop and find something that I like even more that fits my style. Like, I wear a lot of shawl. Like, as far as, like, new clothes go, I wear a lot of shawls and kimonos when there was, like, you know, those were, like, really popular for, like, six months, maybe two years ago. I'll still occasionally see them, and, um, again, don't wipe your glasses, but I've got smudges on here, and that's probably why I've got smudges. But, um, you know, I'll still occasionally see them new, and I get them at Target for, like, maybe $10. $10, $15, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, I, it's, like, I've got a very unique style, I guess. You know, I've got, you know, I, I wear my own things. I don't, you know, um, in fact, I bought this wonderful sheer, you know, star fabric so I could basically make my own um, kimono style shawl uh, <laughs> because that's that's something that I like wearing I like I like that kind of thing um, so I don't get the I don't get the video game videos I don't understand subscription box unboxings especially when it's like five people in a row you know not necessarily in a row. Most of you have the sense to space it out a couple days after the previous person did their own. But still, it's like five people, you know, doing this, reviewing the same thing, showing you the same box with the same shit in it, you know, and then brand hauls, which is basically glorified advertisement. I don't, no, I don't do that. I. You know, I'll do the good old-fashioned haul videos where, you know, like, you go to a thrift shop or, you know, or, or you know, worst case, you go to, like, Ulta or something and it's like, oh, here's this makeup from this brand, here's this makeup from this brand, oh my gosh, this was on clearance, if you can still find it, you know, at your own place, 
you know, I love this color, you know, it's, you know, that's, that's fine, or, you know, here's a big, massive shit I picked up today, you know, here's the just five records I got at the shop, you know, here's what I found at the used bookstore, you know, ten books for a dollar. <laughs> Oh god, they they do that sometimes at Dawn Treader in downtown Ann Arbor, don't they? Um So yes, if you like any of these kinds of videos and you watch them with any amount of regularity, please try and explain it to me. Try and explain it to me. I don't get the appeal. I don't get the appeal because, you know um oh, aquarium turned off. <laughs> I'm starting the aquarium up again and once the plants start growing I'll start you know, like maybe taking a few clips of that here and again. Um, and do a aquarium progress sort of thing. I'll see about doing that. I'm I'm gonna have to like do a thing with storage, but um, so yes, I like I said, I understand like you know social video games like at a party, you know like at somebody's actual house, you know you're all you know everybody's got like you know like a two or three player like like rock band or like a two or three player like punch him up, you know, two-person you know, two -person fighter, and you've got the rotation of people taking over the player, you know, the, uh, taking over the third person who got KO'd. I understand that, you know, Mario Kart, I understand, you know, the social aspects of video games. What I don't understand is when you're watching somebody play a video game from, you know, the other hemisphere, and, you know, you're, you're at most, like, texting at them in comments and I'm like why why this is just I don't know it feels like so much less social to me it just it it feels so much less social kind of vaguely voyeuristic I'm like this is like cam girl stuff but it's video games so that's that's how it feels really voyeuristic to me it's it's not social it's almost creepy um, you know, if you really like, you know, watching f the same five people unboxing the same subscription box with the same stuff and slight variations on their commentary, because like I said, it's, it's the same, you know, people in, you know, the, uh, in, in the YouTube goth community. Um, if you, if you like watching the same five people unboxing the same thing every month, you know, with slight variations on their commentary, because most of us, you know, have similar opinions on this shit. Please explain it to me. Please explain the appeal, because, again, like, first off, I'm being advertised to. Secondly, it's the same goddamn advertisement for the same goddamn thing. <laughs> um, and three... If you understand these brand hall, it's it's an ad. It's an ad. If you understand, if you if you like watching people basically make their own advertisements for shit, and I, I'm I'm sorry. Like every time, I I can't watch, you know the uh, the hall videos from Toxic Tears or even uh, Black Friday anymore. I can't watch those. I can't watch those because. It's either it's either you know promotional stuff if sent from the brand or it's stuff they ostensibly bought from the brand in hopes of getting free. I'm sorry, no, it's in hopes of getting free shit. Don't lie to me. This is in hopes of getting free shit in the future. You're advertising to me. I don't want to see it. If if you enjoy this, please explain the appeal to me. I'm still probably not going to get it. You're not going to change my mind. I'm not going to change your mind. If you will enjoy this. But, you know, please explain your point of view to me, because I don't get it. All right, uh, coming to just under, eh, well, eh, uh, coming to into 20 minutes, I wanted to keep this one relatively short compared to most of mine, so, uh, bats and kisses, sweethearts, um, again, um, like, follow, subscribe, this, that, the other thing, social media bullshit in the description box, um, if you have any explanation on the appeal, please tell me. You're not going to change my mind, but 
I would like to know why you think this is interesting. All right. Bats and kisses. Love you all. Bye.